An old thief once told me that in our line of work, you can never trust anybody. I should have carved those damn words onto the back of my hand. Last night, I was supposed to meet up with an associate of mine to plan our next job. But when I arrived, the only ones there to greet me were the city watch. Looks like he sold me out and decided that the reward money on my head was worth more than our continued partnership. I managed to get away with my life, but now I'm cold, broke, and running out of options. I'm not exactly in a trusting mood either, but a letter arrived last night with an offer I couldn't refuse. I don't usually accept jobs from complete strangers, but I'm not really left with much of a choice right now. It's from a local fence who says he's heard of my troubles and that he knows of a way to smuggle me out of the city for a price. The fence has arranged a simple job for me, and I'm to meet him down in the sewers tonight for more details. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, I want to knock people out. I noticed there's no progress bar. Hey guys, name's Fen, playing some dark mod, not remembering what the volume's meant to be. This is a mission called The Accountant, and it's by uh, Goldwell and Biker Dude, and one of the authors, I, I don't know if I know which one, suddenly I can't, oh. Hey, glad you made it. We don't usually have visitors down here, so just watch your step there, and <laughs> don't mind the bad smells. Try not to get too distant either, it's an absolute maze down here. So as I mentioned during our talk last week, I do indeed have a way for you to get out of the city for good. But before I hand over the details, I want you to do me a little favor first. There's a nobleman who's in possession of a very important necklace to me. It has little monetary value, but great sentimental value. And I want you to break in and steal it from me. Quite simple, really. I have managed to sneak out some of your gear from the city watch, but jeez, it cost me a pretty penny. You can fix me up for that later. I'm sure you'll find more than enough gold where you're going. Okay. Are you done talking? So... Yeah, uh, the the author, or one of them, requested that I play this mission. Said it was pretty short, so uh, I guess... Okay, so here we are. Your gear is on the table in the back room. <sighs> this is Denny, my co-worker. An incredible craftsman and an amazing cook. When sober. And <laughs> he claimed that he was drinking so much. Wow, a candle in a bottle? That's an amazing... Invention. Anyways, let's, now that we've done playing D4, let's demonstrate a game that's actually, like, well-designed on the game mechanics side, shall we? Compare and contrast. Near, far, Sesame Street for game developers. It's just all good. That, uh, that, that looks like gold, but alas. Denny's spills dough. You gotta try the shitty soup. Three raw fish, five turnips, one bottle of rum. Dice fish and then slice the bones and then da 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 and then rum and then the drink in order to get not sober. Because once you're done being sober to, to cook the food, you can celebrate by doing the exact opposite. It is rewarding yourself by doing the thing that you're rewarding yourself for not doing. Awesome. Let let me read, please. Or not. It looks, it looks like there's text there. Why can I not read the text that it looks like there's text there? Oh, what is my Zoom? Do I don't even have a Zoom. Holy crap, I don't remember how to play a game. Oh, well, I guess I'm not meant to read that. and Nor this either, I presume, because I think in Dark Mod books that are not... No, that's in Thief 3. What am I thinking? Well, anyway, I, I, I think I remember that I'm supposed to go into some guy's house and, like, steal a thing of no monetary value but great sentimental value. That uh, seems like a standard thief trope, but one that is pretty functional, so uh, I, I can't really complain. <laughs> it's kind of annoying how, uh, you know, I mean, it's you'd almost think that maybe once you open the chest, then the chest should become unfrobable, but just the lid should become frobable, maybe? I mean, I don't know, there's, there's problems no matter what you do in this here world. Uh, and I pressed the wrong key because I'm fiddling around the bottom row of keys on Thief 4 all the time because that's just what you do. C and X are different, and then you make them the same, but then they, they're the same, and you just can't stand it any way you like. But now I don't know where to go because I'm just stuck in this basementy downstairsy place and cannot get up, and there doesn't seem to be a map, and I'm kind of interested in what goes okay, on in the... Go. Oh, this is the equipment room. Oh, I see. So, what goes on in the sewers is that he's leading me to a different place. Well, 
fun. But I want to know what goes on with those other weird hallways. They're probably just mazes where in some evil monsters chase you. I also have another guy who was great. Oh, he's turned weird now. He has this odd looking eye and even calls himself a master thief. <laughs> a bit arrogant if you ask me. There is no honor or glory in this work. Recently, he was even acting stranger than usual. He had his balls clicked for some reason. And now he sounds like a different guy. But, uh, this city does strange things to people, I swear. <laughs> nice one. I, I think that's going a bit far, though. <laughs> That's definitely going a bit far, okay? Thief 4 may have failings, but <laughs> voice actor isn't really one of them so, much. It's the house at the end of the street. You can't miss it. And be careful of the city watch. Remember, they are still looking for you. Come back here once you have the necklace and some gold, and we'll talk about getting you out of the city once and for all. Good luck. Thanks, Motormouth. Yeah, well, the animation ain't perfect, but that's how I like it. I like it old school and crappy. That's <laughs> how so I like games to be literally bad because it's nostalgia. Well, no, not bad, but rough around the edges like me. So now we're out on the streets. Boy, oh boy, I remember when I was not so comfortable with the dark mod because it was new. That'll certainly never happen in Thief 4 because it sucks. Oh, well, anyways, yes, the watch is still looking for me. And I'm not Garrett and he really just referenced a cross-universe thing. You know, it's supposed to reference copyrighted characters and fan missions. That's a bad thing. Because I was like, oh no, it's copyright, but I shouldn't have worried, and now I am totally messing up my channel, and... Oh. <laughs> D uh, also, running the dark mod from a hard drive this time, because Thief 4 is 24 gigabytes, and it takes up all the free space on my solid state. Why is it that big when the experience of the game is not nearly as big as the file size would have you believe. That's quite an epidemic of plague hood that happens. The hey, that guy... Okay, this time I'm not gonna reload. This time I'm going to be absolutely great and I, I still i am not allowed to kill anyone, I'm pretty sure. So I actually saw that with a 10,000 foot alcoholic drunkard laying on the ground. Come on! Get him, man! <laughs> Oh yeah 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 yeah! I am a stereotypical vagrant Spaniard named Luis Serra. Uh, oh, there is a guy standing there. What am I, stupid, or am I just ignorant? Maybe I could be both. Also, hey, a light gem with a smooth amount of light levels on it. That amazing development. You should go back to 1998 and present that to LGS. In fact, I think I'm going to do that now. Excuse me for a moment. Ah, oh, man, time travel sure takes it out of you. Anyway, back to the game. See if I remember how to do this. Hey, no, no him. I don't, unless his helmet is is a helmet, which... Oh, it is. I didn't see properly. Hi right there, my raindrops are falling above the surface. Oh, that's some good design. No, I'm just needling you, man. Or ribbing you. Or any other sorts of disturbingly morbid words. Well, then, I guess it's a standard break, enter, and snatch from whatever side you personally like. Except not, because not that side. Uh, perhaps I have to climb. Or something. Uh, I mean, I don't know. Well, there's this. But does this door work? Nope. Well, I guess they all look the same, but only one of them works. Only the most difficult one works. God damn it. You know what? The funny thing is, is that... To me, like, the look and the atmosphere of Thief 4 doesn't, like, aesthetically speaking, doesn't really look any better than this much. I mean, it looks technically better, but, again, this is at least as interesting visually. Maybe even more because there's actual color. I mean, I don't know. All right, well, we are in with the classic Tudum interior color scheme. Reds, browns, the warm woods, the cold woods, and... All sorts of lockpicking adventures, except not there, because why would there be anything there? Oh, 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 crap, son, it's a guy with his mouth hanging open ajar. Your door is ajar. The Chrysler New Yorker, or Chrysler, if you don't want to sound like a certain latter, earlier-day saint, 
as as we don't want car manufacturers to be too egotistical here my shareholdings would drop precipitously because i totally care about shareholdings i attend meetings all the time now to talk about the game again i like i warmed up to these colors at first i was like whoa look at these colors they look regular and now i'm just like man oh man i like these bright reds and greens and blues and rainbow colored tails and all the other stuff up the plate i do rather hope i'm being quite entertaining right now because if i'm not I'm going to have to drop a lawsuit on somebody's posterior and strike their postillon with lightning. This room seems to have little purpose beyond one or two pieces of loot and then one other piece that actually is loot. So never mind. Well, yeah. I mean, I was told this could be completed in about half an hour, so that's why I'm willing to try to make it a go all in one video. That's not what I want to pick up. Oh. Now this guy I could knock out. Now let's see if I remember how to do this again. No, I actually don't even though he doesn't have a helmet helmet, only a helmet 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 helmet. It's not covering his face, so I should be able to blackjack him. Yeah, well, I guess I just made a small mistake last time. Well, what the heck is the key to... What? Can't remember the damn key to pick him up. Oh, it's used. What did I... What did I put to you? Oh. Okay. Great. Yeah. All right. Fine. <coughs> hey, not Garrett. Go see an ENT doctor. God. Well, here is the chessboard land, you knave. Oh, I like the voice acting in King's Quest VI. It's overall pretty darn good for the era. Uh, I mean, there's one or two questionable bits, but other than that, why am I talking about a game that isn't this game? I must be rusty at the Let's Play Biz. Well, that's okay, because in the biz such as Let's Playing, you can look however you want, rusty or not, because people don't really see the tone of your skin unless you choose to show it to them. And you might, just to be hamful at the camera. Boo! Wonder what they keep on eyes meatballs and literally nout else I must have some sort of a loot goal that must be coins stuffed in a corner I don't know why those would be dropped there 700 gold to pay back for some bribes well I seem to have a reasonable amount but I'm gonna have to work my buns off some more because I possess buns right on both feet I use them as shoes they're very effective I know they're not really stylistically fashionable but let me tell you when it comes to being effective at being sort of silly and stupid and idiotic, wearing actual cooked buns on your feet is pretty much second to none. <laughs> All right, just checking to see if there's anything valuable. Silverware isn't valuable because nobody requires that to be eaten. Noises going on in the house. I know I greatly and vastly apologize. Oh, I hate challenge. <laughs> oh, I, I picked a key off him. Oh, now that I'm editing, I should stop editing on the flies. It makes me permanently skip important events such as picking a key off a guy. I vastly apologize. Also, have I been here? Evidently not. There seems to be some reading material. Perhaps a guy's journal where he, he blabs about meeting cute girls the whole way of the day. Because some people, they just cannot help but constantly think about the opposite sex and... Write it down in a journal, wistfully, so that it can be read hilariously by a guy playing a game on the Netter Int. <laughs> Locked and yet. There's probably something underneath this book. Good. Ah, one single coin, and now I've gone and done it. Ooh. Ooh. Goop. Well, you're a peasant, so you can be knocked out and good all the time. I've forgotten there's like 15 trillion different buttons for <laughs> item manipulation. Hate to have to do this, but uh, but I like to have to do it in this game, which is it's very useful for item manipulation. But oh, come on, see, this is why I think there's at least a small argument to be made for the old style of chests where you automatically get things. Granted, that makes it more difficult to get multiple things and know what you got, but picking things out of these chests is sometimes a little annoying. But you know what? The dark mod isn't perfect, but god damn if it isn't endearing. 
All right, well, this guy may or may not be having a purse type bag here. Does it, can I even? I seem to be having a very difficult time picking things out of this chest, if indeed I'm even supposed to. I guess I can't. Um, man, whatever. Let's read a diary. I just know that Arrington has been lifting coins from my paycheck. Every damn week I'm short a few coins. Last week I saw him down the street chatting to one of those shady Mandrasola dealers. I think he's been stealing from my paycheck to pay for his taving addiction. He should know better. I asked the master for early payment this week, and I've hid it in the kitchen for now. If that coin goes missing, then I swear to the Lord Builder himself that I'll hang Harrington with his own damn knickers. Uh, I wish I could leave this damn city and head to Bridgeport, but I've not saved enough for a ticket. Such a shame as there's a Zeppelin leaving next week headed for there. Zeppelins are all of a sudden cannon. <laughs> That's crazy. Crazy awesome. Well, let's just simply back out without closing any chest behind us or doing any sort of cleanup work whatsoever. I don't have a map, and therefore I'm completely unable to finish this world game. The funny thing is, sometimes, some days, not every day, but some days when I talk a lot, it covers up the pain in my throat and makes it feel normal for a slight period of time, which is just another thing that you can tell to a doctor and they'll look at you as if you're making it up because none of this stuff seems possible because it's completely random and trolling me pretty hardcore. Uh, I seem to pick a key off of a guy's waist that I've forgotten. Perhaps it will open this door over here. Here's a bedroom key. No, well, let's just carry on to other rooms that could possibly be bedrooms such as the room that I just went into over there, which this is probably for. Did I have to pick that door? I don't remember. Maybe not. But, uh, yeah. Oh, hey. Dear Lord Doyle, contained in this package, you will find two beautiful sculptures of some creatures recently spotted deep inside Lakshen Forest. Hopefully, now we can put behind us the silly mishap of me mistaking your wife for a wildebeest... Or a wilder beast, or another such stupid things, at our last dinner event. Kind regards, Lord Henry. That's a very silly note indeed. Also, these are not pretty or beautiful at all. They're gremlins and grotesque things, and gargoyles, and I, I completely disapprove. So, I'm not really that close to my loot goal, but there seems to be really only a couple of doors left. This is the key for key for key for keys. Well, here is a bedroom. Maybe I will find some lucrative blackmail material that I can use to blacken everyone's mail with ink. With ink. That's the really devious part. I could blacken it with paint, but that would just be amateur work. I'm watching you while you sleep. And you as well. <sighs> so I guess this mission is a prologue to something. So I guess there's going to be a series. It's always good to see series in the dark mod, because Pegasus are... are Nothing to do with anything, Fen, come on. Because in a, aside from that one campaign that may or may not still be in the works, Crucible of Omens, there's also William Steele, which I should also play the next two or three of, I just realized. This evening I tried <clears throat> to go down to the wine cellar to refill my goblet with more ale, but I lost my balance and fell over, spilling my drink everywhere, and to make matters worse, now I can't find my taffing keys to the office. It's quite unorganized down there, and I won't stand for it any longer. I should get rid of those lazy servants for not noticing I have late-night cravings of ale and adjusting the cellar accordingly. They think that I am just a drunk who lives off every drop of ale. There may be some degree of truth in that, but they are only servants, which is not relevant to your argument at all. They cannot question me, which is ultra not relevant to your argument at all, sir or madam. So I guess there's some stairs down to a cellar where he lost his balance, or maybe it's just on the regular stairs. Anyway, in either case, I am looking for an office key. I've got a wine cellar key, which I didn't realize I had. I guess that must be one of those doors which exist on the downstairs plane of the universe. Let's see. First, let's see on the off chance. Nope. Oh, yeah, I didn't know I had the wine cellar key because I just got it next to that friggin' note. Well then, I'm expecting some haunted mishappenings down here with the SS Ship of Failure bumping up the stairs like a diggity diggity dig dog. Uh, 
Or, well, I was going to reference something from a dream I had, but then I, I then immediately realized that it really sounded completely nonsensical. Imagine that, a dream that sounds nonsensical. And also, oh, hey. And, and then also that it sounded like something else slightly immature and weird, even though I didn't mean it that way. So I'm just going to leave you guys never to know what I was talking about and instead just go up to the office here. Steal a necklace, steal 700 gold. Well, my loot sure is nowhere near that. It's actually kind of funny and hilarious, but I'm sure that that will be remedied in due course of time. See, I'm way the hell closer now, and pretty much, there we go. Shipment number 1605, four scepters, fake, two urns, fake, one gold builder statue, may or may not be fake, but we don't have room to write it on the paper, one gold novelty sword, one gold plate, one bag of rare gems, estimated value 1200 gold, Real value, 350 gold. Fair enough. It's enough real for me. And I guess... Oh, no, I need to steal a necklace. So, yes, I am not quite finished here. Not to worry. There's still this room. It's probably going to be hidden. Oh, what? Received one book gift. Note! Lady Duland finally sent me a copy of her late husband's notes on the city. 17 rare gems, 106 golden teeth from a credible amount of people who have golden teeth, I guess. Um, one gold necklace paid. So, uh, find the book mentioned in the notes optional. Oh my god, and I still have to find this necklace thing that's hidden somewhere. And I don't think I have any clues on where it's hidden, but there's this shipment box over here, which maybe I should check a bit more thoroughly. Is it under the auto? Ah. I have literally no idea what that did. I tell you, the, the volume levels are so messed up in this game. Different sounds go into different levels and you... You adjust one so the voice is loud, but then, like, the music gets too loud or, you know, something like that. I tell ya. Listen to my pleas. Whoa. Uh, oh. Whoa. It's like a whole sequence. That's awesome. That is incredible. So now I got the necklace, but now I don't have that book that's completely optional. <laughs> I'm interested in that. Jeez. I can't see my keyboard because my pop filter's kind of blocked. Well, you guys can't see, but yeah. Oh, I found it. It's in this room, kind of downstairs off of some room or other. And it's right here. And we can't read it, apparently, or anything. And now, I believe, I am finished. So let's return to those stinking old sewers and close at least some of the doors so we can look moderately non-sloppy and hope that some guy isn't facing, but he doesn't face because he's very nice and kind and friendly, and we don't have to have some stupid steel meter to steal things off a guy's waist. We just steal them, but I can't steal this sword because it has no monetary value whatsoever. That's why they're just handed out for free like candy to give you a sugar rush and then a crash, which, let me tell you, is hilariously kind of not a nice thing at all. Because uh, I used to just stuff my face full of sugar and eat like $30 of food in half an hour and feel awesome and then 15 minutes later feel like crap and then spend the rest of the day getting nothing productive done. It was freaking amazing. But now I'm getting nothing productive done because of my damn voice that fails me all the time. Well, no, my voice sounds fine. My throat doesn't work that well sometimes. Well, it doesn't feel that well. But uh, apparently... I beat the mission. Apparently, all the really bad problems you would have with your throat are supposed to affect your voice and make it hoarse, and that hasn't happened, which is good because I can't stand horses. So, I, uh, 10, that's okay-ish, I guess. Uh, what else did I get here? Let's see. Well, I came pretty close, actually. So, that's the prologue to some series, I'm presuming, and, uh, and yeah, it was pretty good, it was pretty small and fun, and I have answered one single request out of literally thousands. So, see you guys, whatever the heck. That's my new greeting, unfortunately, for the time being. And, bye for now.